Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and as you guys can tell by the title of this video We got a really really special one for you guys. So today we have the world record Rosa So I'm thinking about getting it to 1300 later today Just so I'm gonna help a friend finish his rank 35 as well But um, we we were actually able to grind a ton last night We got to 1288 I believe or 1292 or something like that and then, or no, actually I think we got to 1295 and then we took an L and we decided to call it a night. But anyways, world record Rosa right here. Highest in the world um, of all time. My fourth rank 35. So obviously we're going to make the rank 35 video. You guys know we have that little series going on. But anyways, we're just going to show you guys some replays. Just show you guys, you know, what we did, how we did it, etc. What mode, what comp. But anyways, um, just a quick shout out to Killer the Third and Jared. And for Jared, he's streaming on Twitch almost every day. He streams a little bit late. He's PSD. So I'm going to drop his link in the description below. Make sure you guys check him out. He's he's goaded. He's a god, bro. Definitely, like, he has two world records, I believe, for highest brawlers on bull and on daryl so definitely check him out but anyways let's hop into some replays and let's show you guys exactly how i got this rank 35 rosa so something i want to point out at the start of this video is that unlike um other youtubers um when i teach you guys things i actually do mean it um it's something that a lot of top players imply and you know they they actually use during their games i don't just say i don't just say stuff for the sake of saying it for the sake of a youtube video i actually want to help you guys so when i make a video calling the poco daryl and rosa comp the most op in the game i really do mean it is the most op comp in the game and i do suggest using it so i made a video a few days ago um saying use this comp and it's what we've been using the entirety of the time when it came to pushing so you guys can see here facing a little bit of a counter basically the same comp but instead of a poco we're facing a shelly but even with the shelly counter the shelly just doesn't really do enough damage to be able to take out the poco you guys can see the shelly is spinning because she knows she can't really do anything yes she can defend but we just have too much hp they can't really deal with this at all and i can't stress to you guys enough when i make a comp and i show you guys the comp to actually use it i thought the daryl was going to roll over here so i tried to make it like a little bit of a sneak shot wasn't able to do it jelly's going to continue spinning because she knows it's a gg the rosa did get me over there but i do have poco heal so i'm not going to go down now daryl is actually in a really good spot right here i'm just going to pop my super get in front of him it's going to be an easy save for us me and jared is both going to go towards the shelly she did have band-aid but again doesn't matter um so jared's going to make a move move forward shoot that left side and he's going to be able to pick up that goal so that's going to be the first win for our team this game this one actually brought me to 1280 we're able to get star and i showed this game just because it was a counter we're gonna hop into the next game i'm going to see if i can find the best games from the push not just games in order so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what we got so here we go into the next game this is a really good game we're gonna be facing jack Cheppo, rinse who's a great streamer and wash saw as you guys know jigsaw um, they're playing a complete counter, so Rinse is going to go a little bit AFK at the start, which is really lucky for us, because it's going to be hard for us to gain position. Um, Jigsaw and Chepo, though, have literally the absolute god defense defense counter to us. Um, they weren't counter comp sniping, they weren't doing anything like that. I was streaming during this, so sometimes you get snipers and stuff. They they weren't sniping, um, they, they made sure they let me know of that after the game. It was just a coincidence that it got a counter, and I do believe them. They are my friends. So anyways, I'm going to pop super over here. Rinse gets a little bit too close. Going to be able to take him out. Jared has his super. Now, it's definitely hard for Jared to score on a Shelly and a Spike. What he has to do when he rolls in, he has to stun the Shelly. And he has to hope the Shelly doesn't super him. He did get really lucky over there where the ball kind of just bounced to him. And we're able to get the first goal. And Jigsaw exploded his own wall. So that's really good. So Spike here is also just fantastic. I'm doing my best to juke it. But it's obviously really, really hard. I'm just going to throw the ball away. When I'm dying, I'm going to try and get a few shots off. Chepo's going to walk up. Pass the ball to Washsaw. And I mean, it, there's basically nothing in this position that we can do. We're trying our best to stay alive as long as we can. I'm going to try and tank some some Shelly shots. And I do definitely tank some Shelly shots over there. And to be honest, we could have had a goal. Or we could have had the save. But unfortunately, Killer did move a little bit through Jack. Um, I don't think we could have had it. But I mean, there was definitely a chance. Unfortunately, though, we did waste his super as well. So we're a minute and a half into this game. Definitely a really, really, really good one. Rinse is going to use his super, which is area denial. We can't walk over there. Chepo's going to use his super to get to uh, throw it on me. I'm going to be able to use my, you know, just unreal 
range with this brawler and be able to take out uh rinse i'm gonna have my super jared's gonna roll it nothing comes from it i'm gonna pop my super and instead of tanking the ball i'm just gonna start moving forward and trying to take them out able to get a couple kills jared's gonna go for a little bit of a spin because he thinks they're counter comp sniping and that is going to end the game so we're able to pick up star player that was a really 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 good game as we're facing three really excellent players let's hop into the next game and let's see what else we got for you guys so we have this game it's a little bit early but i want to show you guys just because it's the last game of my battle log from pinhole punt which is where we did majority of majority of our grinding actually again it's just a different map but we're running the same comp which again i stress to you best comp in the game right now use this comp if you're trying to push for something crazy like again i don't make videos just to make a video and just give some false information i'm just telling you guys what the tops use um and it's not based on stats it's not based on you know this brawler um has the best stats for this or for this this is just the best comp in the game hands down i don't care what the stats say all the pros are doing it to push jared's just going to take that ball walk it in that's going to be a 32 second win against a really good comp really good players who have 800s i mean there's there's just nothing you can do about this comp now i'm not sure what the leaderboards look like right now for these brawlers but i'm just going to check them out over here um we have rosa there's a bunch of rank 35s myself patchy jetton who's another pro player Foki, another pro i mean a bunch of really high up roses remember we're only halfway into the season we go on daryl and we got mally pro player jared pro sergeant clash really good player crying man is up there as well emmerich and then we go on poco and there's just tons of amazing you know big name people over here on poco i don't even have to say how you guys know it like the there's i can't explain it to you guys enough how good this comp is and how highly i recommend using this comp it's just so hard for me to explain all this so we're gonna hop into the next game we had a draw over here but this one is just because someone someone lagged out and we felt a little bit bad so we didn't want to uh end it um i guess we'll show this game because this one was also a good game but it's basically all wins except for the one loss we had in which we decided to call it a night now the really unfortunate part about that when we called it a night is killer was one game off of rank 35 and then we lost so i believe he went into some more games and now he's tilted about 50 trophies which is approximately three hours or something like that so you do feel bad for him for that um but yeah this comp there's just very very little that i can say that can that i haven't already said uh the sandy kind of threw that goal by picking up the ball over there kickers uh, i'm gonna be able to make that safe killer's got his heel jared's got his roll i got my super and at this point our comp is just unstoppable there's nothing you can do i'm gonna pop my super gonna be able to almost take out that uh rico but i'm gonna leave it to my teammates i'm gonna get healed i'm just gonna pop it again and there's just so much hp that i've tanked during this entire session of just poco heal super poco heal jared literally had to do nothing he's just gonna walk it in and again i'm close to my super killer's close to a super i'm just gonna walk up because of the 800 heal per second that i get from killer it's enough for me to tank quite a few shots jared's gonna roll up he's gonna get the stun he almost gets a kill unable to get it killer same thing almost gets a kill we're all gonna go down with a minute and 20 left in the game so it's not looking very good but jared's gonna get his roll he's gonna roll i think nope he's just gonna make that save killer's gonna give him the heal he would have gone down if killer didn't jared's gonna roll on the rico he's gonna be able to pick up that kill uh, he's going to go into the bush. I'm going to get my super and just try and protect Jared, basically. Going to be able to pick up that kill. Um, I am close enough to the Sandy to eventually get a kill, but Killer is going to clean it up for us. Jared's got the ball. He's going to make that roll, get that kill, put the ball in the net. And again, really, really, really good gameplay. So we're going to show one more game. I'm probably going to see if I can find our fastest game. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys how badly we dominated these guys. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Really good comp. Gene, Sandy, and Bull. You do see this comp. Fairly often on this map, not necessarily the bull, but I guess the bull can act as a good counter towards uh, most tanks. When, when I face a bull, what I like to do is keep my distance. Now, sometimes I don't, like you see over there, and I just get two shot. Uh, but that's just because I get a little bit antsy. I knew we had a goal, so it was fine. Um, Jared's going to be able to put that one in the net. But anyways, if you just stay away from the 2,800 distance from the bull when you're fighting as a Rosa, you will be able to pick up the kill. That Gene's going to miss his pull. Uh, Jared's going to go in get a kill on the right side i'm gonna pass it to jared jared's gonna walk that one put it in the net and that's it and i believe that this is enough um of this comp to showcase you guys this game brought me to 1292 but anyways we're sitting currently at 1280 things are looking really really good for the rosa we'll probably get it to 1300 although this is this is going to be my last day playing you guys can see i've worn this shirt uh, i'm going to be wearing this shirt in the next couple of videos just i'm all recording it all in one day 
But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're definitely going to push another rank 35 soon. It's probably going to be Daryl or Poco just because it's a free rank 35. So, you know, why not? But anyways, it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.